this is the, the mammoth of the gullies, the behemoth. Wow, wow, so cool. Feeling good, a job well done. <laughs> Euphoric, ecstatic, accomplished. <laughs> this is such a moment, it's like a movie. <laughs> nice. Well, this is Sandy Gully. It's the locals say it's the mother of all gullies. It's the lot by far the largest gully in Kingston. It's kind of the main, it is the main artery that runs through the center of Kingston. And there's multiple gully channels that connect to it. So when heavy rain comes down, you've basically got one main artery that's got all these veins connecting into it. And it comes down with incredible force. Wow. This is by far the most amount of trash that goes into the Kingston Harbour. So if we can close the tap on Sandy Gully, we're really going to see a difference in the Kingston Harbour. We have a problem with the trash, the mud, um, sewage water, all kind of factory water coming in here so for years. We use a lot of turkle, um, lobster, all type of fish, snapper, any fish you think out on the front, they're always inside here. And now we have no fish. You know, it's all about rubbish, garbage, pay rough going, no food, nothing going. Yeah, the problem is with the, the land extraction system, as you can see, there's only like a limited area where that's possible. So it's likely that we're going to have to be doing some, some serious sensitization with the community and explain to them what uh, the solutions that we're exploring and how do they feel about it, how they're willing to, to accommodate. Yeah. But, it, but it's going to be challenging. But we need to talk to these guys. They're here for like 30, um, 33 years, so from the gully, come all the way down, the whole thing clogged. It used to be like a beach. You used to have shells, everything down that side there. We used to swim down there, touch the other side, swim back across. But, you know, long stem every time it rain, everything come down from uptown. Plus, you know, we have proper garbage system, the dumping, you know, mangrove grow over. The front there used to just go there and fish, now the whole thing bushy, you know, as you can see. So it's good, you know, they're taking the time out to do everything they do now and approach it from the standpoint they're approaching it from and see if we can rectify the situation for the long term. Well, we're going further up the gully because we've never been up this part before. So we're going into uncharted territory right now, which is exciting. Yeah, behind the train line, that's the beginning of the gully, going up. A massive work needs to be done in there because the gully turned a jungle now. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we, we, do, we do the research that is fully data driven, but the data that we get from speaking to the locals that have been living uh, by the gully for 20, 30 years, that kind of knowledge, that's true. That's factual. They're, they're able to explain to you how it behaves. So yes, data, you can see trends and you can analyze it, but it can sometimes be quite subjective uh, in, t in terms of how, how you're looking at it when you're speaking to someone that has really seen how the gully behaves, that's the kind of knowledge that, that we need. All this used to be neighbors hanging out in between those creases there, fishing. One family will catch anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds of fish where could provide for a household for at least a week or two, you know? Now, it's crazy, like people, going out of the way now to find other means because this used to be, you know, a feeding up for the whole neighborhood and neighboring communities, but now it's gone to the dogs. Gone. Never seen it like this. So today, is a big day for us to ensure that the anchors are successfully installed so that we can connect, begin the connection of the booms tomorrow. If this is the anchor plate, 
the anchor plate is dropped somewhere in the middle and then we give it a we give it an angle by resting it at the back of the trench and then the chains are laid out all the way until the end and, and this this will give the whole holding power with all the ground that's then dumped on top and it gives all the resistance we need we aim for the current tech but also future improvements potential improvements so we aim for a uh, hundred metric tons of holding capacity on both anchors. That's perfect. Traditional Jamaican practice, we use the rum to ward off I guess evil spirits, you know, bless the sight. Make sure that we have a positive outcome. So I do it on all construction sites and I think I'm gonna do it here. So we're gonna bless the site with rum to keep whatever at bay. I am very confident in all this. Um, I've been with Elastec for 15 years. Uh, I've been overseeing the building of these booms for three years now. These are not our standard boom. They uh, have upgraded connections on, on each, each end. The yep. stiffeners that hold everything together are the same, but the connections is the weak point, so we've upgraded that. It's, a good, it's good to see it all come, come together. This has been nearly a year of hard work together with Elastec internally to get this thing going with Clean Harbors Jamaica. Grace Kennedy Foundation, and it's good to just see see it all happening. Uh, yeah, it's here. In two days, it's in the water, it's tackling some trash, so it's good. I think we're, we're doing a really good job. Um, mind you, this barrier is 260 meters long, so that's 44, 44 elements that need to go in the water. And we'll, we're gonna do it in under a week, so. Indeed, these are big, massive, elements that weigh over 100 kilograms each and that are six, six meters long. So it takes time, effort to maneuver these around. There's quite a lot of bolts to remove, replace, um, a lot of flexible heavy parts uh, between the booms. So we have this big rubber sheet that goes between each boom to ensure that it's plastic tight, which takes quite a while to, uh, to assemble. Of course, without Clean Harbors Jamaica, without Grace Kennedy Foundation, we wouldn't be here installing uh, the biggest barrier to date in Jamaica. And it's been crazy to see all the enthusiasm around around the project from the locals because um, you have locals, you know, pitching in daily and asking if they can help and and uh, actually helping on the ground and getting their hands dirty, quite literally, to fasten the barrier in place and uh, secure it on on location. So I think it's, yeah, it's receiving great enthusiasm and, and people are quite thrilled, I think. I think for the communities, it has been a very great experience for them to be a part. So it's not just about seeing a project being deployed in your community, but being able to interact with the project on a tangible level. They've been involved each step of the way with us. We've had fisher folk helping, regular guys from the community, especially here in San Diego, everybody has gotten involved. I think it means a lot more to them than people are, you know, take on. They really feel like they're a part of this and they love the experience. You know, you see the kids running to see exactly what's going on. Everybody's curious, what's this thing going to really do? Because, you know, we've done installations in other communities. We have it in other gullies, other barriers set up. But this one is going to be different. This one is going to be, I think, the game changer on the island. When this one is done, it's going to really showcase just how excellent this project has been thus far. When you really look at it, something like this would give every single person in the community that little boost and bragging right to say, hey, I helped to get this back to what it was. It's been a fun show. We're hoping to see the result at the end. That's what we're looking forward to, this final installation, seeing these booms in the water, getting a nice catch from the gully, showing the world and Jamaica exactly what these booms were designed for and what the project is about. This is the, as I've stated before, the mammoth of the gullies, the behemoth, sandy gully. So pretty excited to see what it does.
beautiful. We get rain the week after installation and just an hour of rain, not even. Maybe, maybe up in the mountain there was more, but it's a golden hour. 260 meter barrier. Stopping at least 10 fridges and a shitload of bottles and other trash. It's unreal, it's unreal. If you guys have any questions, if there's anything else you'd like to see, we just quite literally got here and, and saw this. And it feels amazing. Look at that. All of the bottles slowly coming down. It's like a movie. <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. Now that I have my glasses on, I can see it better. All the hard work has paid off. For real. So cool. Wow. Feel it good, a job well done. <laughs> and to see it in action. Yeah. Feel proud. Um, so yeah, are you are you baptizing an interceptor for the first time today or for the first time ever? Okay. Let's hope I can do a good job. <laughs> so first time ever. What Wait, do you we have, have there? to tell them it's glass. It's glass. It's glass it's bottle. Glass. <laughs> it's a glass bottle by Maritime Traditions. It's a Jamaican beer, a red stripe. <laughs> <laughs> now it looks like product placement. We're not. <laughs> All right. So right. let's let's give this a try. Be careful. Let's go. Two, one. Wow. Yeah. Great, okay. Excellent. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's beautiful, <laughs> but it's definitely exciting that it's being trapped. And so for the next month, we're gonna um, work with the partners locally to operate and to monitor uh, Sandy Gully operation, uh, as, as well with the other seven deployments that we have. And we are going to not stop here, we are going to look ahead. Uh, there are other gullies uh, in Hans Bay that we are looking at. So, a lot of work still to do. Uh. Euphoric, ecstatic, accomplished. <laughs> not sure of any other words to give you right now. I'm just really happy to see the outcome of the hard work that we put in. It's an amazing feat to actually have the barrier in place to catch all this waste. It really highlights to us what the problem is and this barrier is just a great indication of what solid teamwork can get done. We've done a great thing here and I look forward to better things to come.